What's up, everybody? It's Meech. You're tuned into On The Radar, where we cover health, fitness, and tech. Most of us heard about CMOS from Dr. Sabies. If you've seen any of his videos, he'd be at like a seminar or a speaking engagement. He was like a 70-something-year-old man, an 80-something, whatever. Oh, he's an old guy. He'd be talking, and he'd be standing up, and, you know, all of a sudden, just boom. He just just dropped to his knees, like literally, not, not lower himself down. He would literally drop himself to his knees and he would be like, that's the sea moss. It makes your bones strong and just makes you strong and healthy. And right away when I saw that, I'm like, look, ain't no old man <laughs> going to just drop to his knees like that on, 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 on a hard, you know, regular floor. It wasn't no trick. It wasn't no, you know, gimmick. He wasn't, you know, it wasn't no secret padding. He, that man was dropping to his knees. I'm a fairly young guy. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not just dropping to my knees like that. I'm pretty sure one of my knees might crack in half. So let me get into some of what other things that the CMOS does so you have a full understanding of the many benefits of it. So it is obviously, it's called CMOS, or it's also called Irish CMOS. Um, it promotes digestion. It has 92 of the 102 vitamins and minerals, really minerals that the body is made up of and that the body needs. So you have a ton of minerals in this one little thing that most of us are not getting in our regular everyday diet. Most of us are lacking a lot. <laughs> We're deficient in a lot of things. Um, for the skin, if you want to put it on your skin, it's good to treat sunburn, psoriasis, and eczema. It does promote weight loss. It's, it's a very low calorie, calorie high nutrient substance. It eliminates waste from the intestines. And it will make you fuller when you eat it, so you end up eating less. It does lower inflammation. It increases energy, like I like I'm, I, I can attest to right now, by increasing your red blood cells. It is high in potassium. It's good for your mental health, anxiety, and depression. It is appetite suppression. It helps curb your um, sugar cravings. It is good for anemia because it boosts the iron. It has a high iron content. It helps your hair grow. My nephew was telling me that. That, you know, he saw that difference. You can put it in almost anything like smoothies. I put it in my smoothies in the morning. And what I've also been doing lately, if I don't make a smoothie or I just don't, um, you know, have it available to put it in my smoothie at the time, I just take a straight up spoonful of it and just put it in my mouth and just wash it down with some water. It doesn't have any taste. So, you know, it, it, it's not like, like taking black seed oil where the taste is disgusting. It's just... It doesn't taste like anything, so you can just swallow it. A lot of other people put it in soups. They put it in different foods, actually. And then some people just blend it up in water and just drink it like that. So it's, it's very versatile how you can take it. Now, the guy where I get it from at the herb store, he told me that it can stay in the fridge for, like, months. I don't know for sure, but I've been told that more than once. I don't really, you know, try to test it and leave it super long, but... The one I did leave in the fridge for too long because I forgot I had it and it was in the back of the fridge. I pulled it out. It was probably there for like three months. I pulled it out. It smelled the same. It looked the same. I wasn't going to use it, but it smelled and looked the same. So I guess the guy was right. Like it does last a good amount of time once you put it in the fridge. So they do say to avoid if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. I'm not sure why. Uh, I would have to look into that a little bit further, but they do say not to take it if you're um pregnant or breastfeeding. It is also good for people who have thyroid issues because it, because it is high in iodine. So a lot of people are going through thyroid issues. This is something that you should try, incorporate it into your diet regularly. And, you know, hopefully I don't have thyroid issues. I actually know a few people that do have thyroid issues and I'm trying to get them to use it. But, you know, some people just, it's, it's hard to get people to use things consistently, but I'm, I'm trying to actually test it out on a few people. So if I'm able to, you know, get some sort of consistency with them and some feedback, I'll let you guys know. Um, it does help boost your immune system and it clears your body of mucus. So there are also a bunch of other things that it does, but I would be here for a while listing those things. But these are the most general things that, you know, that it, it can do for you. So it's definitely, definitely something that you should incorporate into your daily routine. Now, as I said, I've been using it along with black seed oil, so you can definitely use it, you know, with black seed oil. I know a lot of people are probably going to ask. Yes, you can. 
Um, so, you know, if, if you have, you'll have two things that are good for your immune system, that is good for your inflammation, all these different things. You'll have two things that you can take and, you know, just make those combinations stronger of, of as far as, you know, making yourself healthier. I want to show you what the real actual sea moss looks like before you prepare it and w w what it looks like once you do prepare it. So you can get sea moss in two different ways. You can get it in its raw form. What you have to do is wash it. Sometimes it's not all the way clean and it has a lot of salt in it. Obviously, it comes from salt water. You can get this stuff farmed or you can get it from fresh water. I would prefer if you get it wild crafted, meaning it's, it's straight from the actual ocean as opposed to it being made like in a, in a, in a pond somewhere because you're not going to get the same amount of nutrients, you know, natural nutrients that it's supposed to have. Now there's always these different things where people say, well, if you're getting it from the ocean, you know, you have all the pollution, the contamination, all this stuff. You just got to, I don't know, do your research, figure out because either way you're going to have somebody saying there's a problem somewhere. Just try to get it wild crafted as natural as possible from a, a source where you know it's not a polluted environment. Like, so for instance, there's a lot of places in the, in the Caribbean where they, they make this stuff or they grow it and you can get it harvested versus you don't want to get it from somewhere like let's say Japan, where the waters and the, 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 the environment there is not the best. So that's what I mean. You know, try to make sure it comes from a good quality source. This is the way it comes. It's very, you know, salty. So you have to rinse it off very, very thoroughly. Sometimes there's other little contaminants on it. So you definitely have to wash it very thoroughly and then you soak it for about a day. It'll look like this. So you can see the difference right here where this is the raw is dry. And then once you add it to water, it livens back up. It soaks up the moisture. And then you can take it, you add some water to it, you blend it, and then you get this paste. Then once you have this paste, all you need is a spoonful of that. And this will last you a while. Now, I buy these from the herb store, you know, raw form. I make it myself when I'm ready. And then I also buy it for the paste because it's obviously convenient. I don't have to soak it and make it. So I like having both on hand. Blending it is, is very easy. Like I said, you just, you know, scoop it out. If it's already in the paste form or if you just have it raw like this, you just toss it in your smoothie or, or whatever it is that you're blending. Even if it's just some water, you blend it up and you're good. It doesn't taste like anything. So this is one of the ones that I get also from the herb store. It, it's the same exact thing. They just put cinnamon in it. So... You know, cinnamon has its own beneficial properties, and then it just gives it a little bit of flavor. Some people like it a little bit, a little bit different with a little bit of flavor. So I just want you guys to see the different forms and the different ways that you can get it. But it's really, really self-explanatory. If you can find it in the raw form, you can use it just as you need it. You can store it for a long period of time, and, you know, you can just make it as you need it as opposed to having a big, you know, lump sum of it. So... I've been using sea moss for a number of months now, if not a whole year. But I started off using the caplets. I felt like it was giving me energy. I had mixed results. There was times where I wasn't sleeping. And I was like, like literally not sleeping for days. <laughs> Just be up. Like, like awake, focused, energized, and just like, yo, something ain't right. Like I'm just too, not wired, not hype. But just, just, I'm just awake and focused, just regular. But I'm just not tired. <clears throat> so I remember talking to my nephew about it. And at the time, you know, he was telling me that he had been using CMOS. And it was giving, he's a truck driver. So he was telling me how it was giving him different energy and all that type of stuff. This is, that, that alarm is, we'll get to that too, why, why that alarm just went off so he was telling me you know it was giving him energy and all this stuff so i told him i was taking the pills right i forgot how many pills i was taking i think i was taking like four pills a day of the sea moss right but then i started using the gel and then i was using the pills and the gel <laughs> not realizing like just let me just get all the nutrients you know sometimes we just overdo stuff we be doing a little bit too much so you know he said yo i think you're doing too much because that's probably why you're not sleeping because it's giving me a lot of energy. It's probably giving you over energy, right? So I stopped taking the pills and just kept using the, the, the actual gel and my sleep leveled out. So I was like, damn, 
I was I was taking too much. So I confirmed with myself, it definitely gives me energy, right? So, you know, I was talking to my nephew, like I said, he said it gives him a lot of energy. I, I lost the other notes, but he was saying it was doing a lot of stuff, like his hair was growing um, back and it was growing faster. Just little different things. His, his skin cleared up. Um, he said he did notice some different inflammation, like different joint pains. It got a little bit better. So, you know, I was able to take what he what he was telling me. Now, I got off of black, um, black seed oil. I got off of sea moss for a few months, and I recently just jumped back on it. But I haven't been using the pills. I've been using the gel again. So if you don't know, the gel is the actual sea moss. You have to blend it up after you soak it, and, you know, you blend it up and you get the gel. So I've been using that for a few weeks again. I've been using um, sometimes a teaspoon, sometimes two teaspoons, and I'm not sleeping again. <laughs> So I tell you guys, it's, it's, it, it, it does give you that energy. And like I said, you don't notice that it's not like you're taking caffeine and you hype and you're feeling jittery. I'm just, it's five o'clock right now as I'm, as I'm recording this video. I work nights. I was up all night and I barely slept yesterday. I probably slept for maybe two or three hours yesterday, right? I was up all night at work. Usually I come home from work and I go to sleep you know, within an hour or two of me coming home. I come home around 8, by 10 at least, I'm asleep. It's 5 o'clock and I'm still awake. I'm here recording this video. I have not slept. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to have to scale back on the sea moss. <laughs> but because this is happening for the second time, I definitely know that the sea moss gives you, it's, it's at least me, it's giving me a lot of energy. And... I realized that I'm taking too much because I'm not sleeping and I'm not tired. Um, I was a little bit tired earlier, not too much. Now I'm perfectly fine. And I've been taking black seed oil too, obviously. And lately, because I've been testing something, I've been taking black seed oil three times a day. And that's why my alarm goes off because I'm supposed to be taking it right now. Um, but I would say that it's the combination of both, but I wasn't doing the black seed oil three times before when I was taking the sea moss. So I definitely know that the sea moss is giving me all this energy is keeping me awake. So the energy is covered, <laughs> but that's pretty much it. I want you guys to let me know if you've been using sea moss and what your experiences are, because I'm still doing my like real world research. Like I said, I can just find information online and recycle all the information and just read it back to you. I, that's not what I'm looking for. It's not what I do. I keep telling you guys that. So let me know if you have actual experience with this and some of the things that you've noticed and some of the things that it's done for you. Um, you know, and as I, you know, use it, you know, more long term and I see more, th more things and different results, I I'll report back to you guys on it. But, you know, CMOS is a very, very powerful you know, uh, source of, it's a nutrient. It's a, it's a food basically. It's very, very powerful. I, I, um, I suggest you guys, you know, try to find it I if, if I can find, because I get it locally, you know, I don't really have a lot of trusted sources where I get it from, you know, where I can tell you to get it from online. If I can find some, some sources that I can trust, I'll put the link in the description, but if not, just do your research and, and, you know, just look into it for yourself and try to find this stuff and try to try it out because you, 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 I think you'll, you know, I think it'll be good for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Till next time, stay focused, stay fit. Please hit that like button, show your support. Definitely hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted the next time something comes across my radar. Salute.